students in natural world a plant or an animal adapts or changes itself to suit its surrounding this happens over hundreds and thousands of year this process of changing to suit the surrounding is called adaptation so students today we are going to answer the questions related to adaptation the name of the chapter is animals living and surviving so let us quickly start with our first question which is tick the correct answers the question is it is a term used when an animal sleeps for several months to protect itself from cold the options are hibernation respiration extinction and digestion well this particular answer is hibernation what is hibernation when animal sleeps for several months well there are this animals which sleep for a very long time the examples are bats bears snails they sleep not because they are lazy well because they want to protect themselves from cold next question is the natural home of an animal is called its dash the options are house nest habitat water so what do we call natural home of an animal we call it as habitat okay for example desert in desert there are a lot of animals that live for example camel okay so camel very nicely survive and try to live in a desert so desert is a natural habitat or a natural home of a camel okay so there are lot of such natural homes or habitats like there can be a forest or it can be a wetland it can be ocean also let us move on to the next question the next question is terrestrial animals breathe through their dash the options are air holes gills lungs scales so what is the correct answer the correct answer is lungs okay terrestrial animals breathe through their lungs then fourth question is monkeys are called dash the options are aquatic animals aerial animals arboreal animals amphibians so what do we call monkeys monkeys are arboreal animals because they spend most of their life on trees okay fifth question carnivorous animals have well developed dash the options are biting teeth tearing teeth chewing teeth and grinding teeth well carnivorous animals have a well developed tearing teeth as you can see this animals tear the flesh they have to tear the flesh right so that's why they should have a well developed tearing teeth and nature has given them next question is adaptation help animals to protect themselves so there is big nose slow movement small eye or camouflage so which amongst this options help animal to protect themselves the most appropriate answer would be camouflage okay so there are a lot of animals like for example a chameleon okay whose color so nicely blends with the surrounding that it is very sometimes difficult to identify them okay so that is what we call as camouflage next question he is a wildlife conservationist and options are sundarlal bahuguna baba amte steve irwin sunita williams the correct answer would be steve irwin so steve irwin has been a wildlife conservationist okay he died uh, some years ago okay uh, there were a lot of programs that were held on a discovery channel okay which showed him how much he cared about wildlife especially the crocodiles let us see next question the question is true or false first in that list is snakes crawls on its legs so do they have legs first of all the answer is no so this is a false statement okay snakes don't crawl on their legs let us see next question animals that live both in water and on land are called amphibians 
so is it true animals that live in both water and land the answer is yes it is true so amphibians they can live in both land and water so it is a true statement next question is animals that spend most of the time on trees are called aquatic animals no not at all they are called arboreal animals so the answer is false a giraffe is an omnivore is it right no it is herbivorous so it is a false statement fifth question animals that live on or inside the body of other animals are called parasites yes it is true the next question is complete the table with suitable statements okay now in column over here there are movement breathing organs examples and in this row we have terrestrial aquatic amphibians aerial and arboreal and we have to fill this table so few information is already given like legs to move on land for terrestrial animal is given what is the remaining part the breathing organ they have lungs to breathe on land and examples are human tiger then aquatic animals they have fins to move in water then uh, for breathing they have gills so that they can breathe in water the example can be fishes crabs then comes amphibians here we can see the limbs in amphibians so that they can move in water and on land they also have moist skin to breathe in water and also have lungs to breathe on land the examples are frog toads etc then in aerial animals they have feather to move in air lungs to breathe and examples are crows and eagles in arboreal animals they have claws and broad hip girdles to climb they have lungs to breathe the examples are monkeys and flying squirrels next question is write short answers what is adaptation here you will write the process of changing to suit the surrounding is called adaptation okay so there are many animals which have very nicely adjusted with their surrounding and in return they have received some nice modifications so we you can remember this example of camouflage that we took okay so that is a good example of adaptation how do animals living in cold regions keep themselves warm well animals have variety of different mechanism to keep them warm for example a blubber or a fat or else they have fur okay so arctic animals you will find that they have fur okay to keep themselves warm then next question is what are arboreal animals here you can write animals that spend most of the time on trees are called arboreal animals then why do most herbivorous animals have long and strong legs well because most herbivorous animals have long and strong legs because they can travel long distances in search for food so most animals have long or strong legs then comes long answers the first question is frog is an amphibian how is it adapted to live on land and in water well here you will write frogs have moist skin that helps them to breathe in water and also have lungs that keeps them um, that helps them to breathe on land thus it is adapted to live on land as well as in water why do aerial animals have light bodies here you will write animals which fly have a light body because of light bones and feathers and it helps them to stay in air for a long time then third question what are different ways by which animal protect themselves here you will write some animals have very strong legs and are able to run very fast for example deer then huge sizes of some animals are enough to scare away their enemies for example elephants some animals body color merge or blends with the surrounding it is called as a camouflage okay this makes it very difficult for enemy to spot them for example zebras chameleons etc okay so this is the answer to the question what are different animals by which animal protect themselves then next question is how do animals like fish elephant and leaf insect protect themselves here you will write fishes move fast enough to escape from their enemies then elephants with their huge size scare away their enemies okay whereas leaf insects with their body color merge or blends with their surrounding which makes it very difficult for enemy to spot them 
so this is answer to the question how do animals like fish elephant and leaf insect protect themselves okay well students that was all from my side thanks for attending this session if you have any doubt feel free to ask me you can put your comments in comment box so next time we will be coming up with a new topic until then take care bye bye